One of the major things that we're trying to prevent in the work that we're doing here is suicide. Can you tell me a little bit about physician suicide and how common it is and, and a, a little bit more about that? Yeah, it's, it's interesting to think that, you know, health conditions are pretty much the same, occur pretty much the same as the general population. Substance use problems are pretty much the same as the general population, about one in ten. Um, co comorbidities between substance and, and uh, psychiatric conditions are pretty much the same. Um, and it's no surprise in, in some ways that uh, suicide is um, something one needs to be aware of. Um, what the findings have been, and there have been a number of studies and a really good meta-analysis by Schlerhammer um, a few years ago that looked at uh, suicide in physicians. And it, it seems that the rates are actually higher than the general population, um, which is a bit shocking. Um, and sort of once we started to think about that, there are some perhaps unique reasons um, why doctors who um, perhaps experience um, an adverse outcome with a patient might take that um, really hard. Um, and together with having a condition that wasn't treated uh, might elect for suicide. In, what we find is that, or what was found in that paper, was that um, men are just above the general population, the highest risk in the general population. Um, females are higher by about three times than the uh, general population for women. Um, and uh, female doctors will commit suicide um, at a younger age, uh, whereas men tend to commit suicide a bit older. Um, so, you know, it, it is, a, I think, a, a, a serious condition that we have to always be considering. Um, unfortunately, we look at having a suicide uh, for sure every year, and that's sobering, you know, and this happens as trainees, and this happens as independent docs. Um, doctors also have the means, so perhaps they're uh, more likely to be successful um, than not. The other point that um, I think is of, of real importance, and that's a lot of research from um, people who work in suicide, including Paul Lynx in, in Toronto, Toronto, is that um, by and large, suicide um, happens uh, with somebody who has a treatable condition um, that perhaps wasn't optimized or wasn't recognized. Um, and so again, there's this emphasis that, you know, to be aware of your health condition and to have people who are treating doctors be aware that this is a serious potential concern and to act um, strongly if they're concerned about suicide.